This past Sunday was a really conflicting race weekend for me. A stacked doubleheader consisting of Formula 1's German Grand Prix and IndyCar's Indy 200 at Mid-Ohio. Both were dramatic, both for very different reasons, and it's something that resonated with me as a motorsport fan as both sides of the fan spectrum were covered. To be blunt, Formula 1 in Germany was a shit show. A race that, competitively speaking, ended at Turn 1. Throw in yet another controversial incident regarding Nico Rosberg and you saw all the ugly in Formula 1 rise to the surface like a blocked toilet. There was already negativity in the sports atmosphere given the awful handling of the FIA and its officiating. See the Sausage Factory for more on that. But a lot of it has stemmed from the sheer lack of racing quality at the front, with cars so distant, mixed in with the sheer cesspool of the Lewis Hamilton vs Nico Rosberg rivalry. And it's a term I use in inverted commas because it really isn't one at this point. Lewis is the best driver in the world right now, without question. How he's gone from 43 points down to 19 in front in just 7 races has been nothing short of incredible. But it's that same narrative that Sky promotes while taking every opportunity to cut Rosberg down to size whenever he isn't on top. Even when he is. It's fair to say Lewis is better than Nico, that's clear. But the way we've now reduced a now 19 time race winner like Rosberg into narrative fodder has been rather awful, and it's gotten to the point where the sport revolving around Lewis so much has become toxic. As we all probably know, Lewis is the most popular figure in F1 by miles, and for every hardcore fan he has, he also has a guy who wants to attack him for seemingly no reason, often masters Rosberg fans sick of the coverage, or as F1 fans frustrated and not sure how to handle a sport having its first megastar since Schumacher. And in today's instant gratification world of social media, it all explodes into one awful, toxic environment. A shit race, and Lewis seemingly poised to dominate the rest of the season, the last three races have sucked the life out of what was a seemingly really promising season. Then I switched on IndyCar. And while it took a little time to get going, the second half was incredible. You had Connor Daly lead near the end as Dale Coyne decided to pit the rookie off sequence, and Twitter was glorious in rooting for the Indiana native for a near unthinkable win, begging for a caution to seal the deal. And then you had the two championship leaders, Will Power and Simon Pagano, teammates for Team Penske who are in another universe compared to the rest of the field, and in the latter stages, Pagano, who's carrying nearly an entire race's worth of points in hand, was attacking Power instead of protecting the points, making a sensational pass on his teammate in a move that would later seal the win. And you know what happened after the race? When it was all said and done, the first thing Will Power did after he stepped out of his car was go over to his longtime teammate and friend and be the first to congratulate him in a gesture of awesome sportsmanship. It was the cherry on top of what was a real feel-good moment for the series, and motorsport in general. A palate cleanser after f one shite fondue. And you know what makes me sad? Do you know what that Power Pagano handshake reminded me of? Bahrain 2014. Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg go wheel to wheel in a tremendous dogfight. Fans universally loved it. One of the best races of the hybrid era to date and it still holds up now. And what I remember most about it was the iconic shot of two teammates and friends of over 15 years hugging it out after an enjoyable, incredible fight that captivated us all. For once we ignored the politics, all the drama, all the unnecessary bullshit and enjoyed motorsport and competition in its very purest form and it was amazing. Look at that then and look at where those two stand now. A toxic environment, narrative city, a massive portion of F1's active audience at each other's throats. It makes me miserable as a fan that I witness this so often. Now please, don't take this video as me bashing on F1 or overly praising IndyCar. Both have their issues and their benefits too. But seeing two similar series have two races having two very different impacts was something I noticed and wanted to draw attention to, because for me the contrast is staggering and says a lot about where each of them are respectively. I'd pray for more positivity, but then Lewis Hamilton will probably sneeze incorrectly and the whole thing will probably start over again. When the brightest thing about Formula 1 right now is Daniel Ricciardo drinking champagne out of his shoe, Maybe we need to look at ourselves in the mirror and see what our sport has become.